Good day to everyone. It is my pleasure to present to you my poster on activity pulses inducing spontaneous flow reversals in viscoelastic environments. One of the goals of studying active matter, that is, of moving creatures, is to control their movement. Here we show how we can reverse the flow direction of moving cells by using pulses. By activity pulses, I mean movement that manifests as pulses, like blood pulsing through our body. By a viscoelastic environment, we refer to an environment that flows, stretches, and relaxes, much like the environment wherein cells or bacteria live. This study is motivated by an experiment in which scientists are studying fly egg cells that have a layer of cells that are rotating in one direction. The researchers put the cells to sleep, but after the chemicals wear off, the cells start to move in the opposite direction. Our goal is thus to see if we can reproduce this numerically and understand why such flow reversal occurs. You can find here the details of the active gel theory that we use to numerically simulate this flow reversal. In our model, a shear-like flow is generated in an active region and propagates to the viscoelastic region. Periodic boundary conditions are given in the left and right to mimic the toroidal shape of the fly egg cell. We then temporarily turn off activity for a short amount of time to simulate a pulse, and in the absence of polymers, flow reversal does not occur when activity resumes. A reversal, however, occurs after the pulse if the upper region is sufficiently viscoelastic. Here we demonstrate how the underlying mechanism driving this flow hinges on how the initial flow stretches the polymeric fluid and how the feedback flow from the relaxing polymers reverses the orientation of the active matter when activity is turned off. Three essential timescales should be considered. How long the delay is and how fast the pneumatic directors and the polymers relax. A simpler model with these timescales reproduces the phenomenon as well as the phase diagram of dimensionless numbers, though qualitatively but with amazing agreement. I invite you to view this poster in more detail to understand how activity pulses in a viscoelastic environment can provide a means to control their flow direction. Thank you very much for your attention.